Welcome to the homework for lesson seven. This is module four of grade three. Please write your name here first. And we're finding we're we're working on the um, making the connection between uh, counting squares and area and multiplying the side lengths. Uh, it says find the area of each rectangular array. Label the side lengths of the matching area model and write a multiplication equation for each area model. And the first one is uh, set up for us. The square units here, you can just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six square units. And here we have three units times the other side we have is two units. Right, because we know that if this is three, this is three, and this is two, that's two. So when I say the other side, I'm talking about not the opposite side, the one next to it. So we have sides of three and sides of two. And three times two is six. The next one, we're on our own here, kind of. Uh, one, two, three, four, five units, two rows of five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten square units. This is length would be two and five, five and two. So we have two rows of five, 10 square units. And notice this is regular units for length and square units for area. Very important. We're counting squares when we're counting area, when we're counting length, for the length of a side, we're counting either centimeters or just length units, linear units, or just, just regular units. So how um, square units here again, how many squares are there? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 square units. And we see here, this is the same rectangle. It's got one, two, three, and along the bottom, one, two, three, four, four units there, three and four, and we should just write units. I'll fix these, this one in part B too. Now that I think of it, there. And we know that three units times four units equals 12 square units. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 square units. And it's side lengths one, two, three, four on the bottom and one, two, three, four on the left side there. So these are four, four units. And this is four units. Four units times four units equals 16 square units. Jillian arranges square pattern blocks into a 7x4 array. 7x4 array. Now this grid is a lot bigger than 7x4. Draw Jillian's array on the grid below. All right. How many square units are in her Jillian's rectangular array? So it's a 7x4 array. So that means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is one side length. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 is the other. Now it just says a 7 by 4 array. You don't have to have 7 rows of 4. You can do it with 4 rows of 7. Because I think the grid is big enough to do it either way. And I'm going to label it 4, 7, 7, 4. How many square units? Seven rows of four is twenty-eight. There are twenty-eight 
28. And these are units. And there are 28 square units in jillions. array. Let me just clean this up a little bit here. My in looked a little unreadable there. And that 8 and the 28 is pretty sloppy too. Let me erase that and do that over. There, that's easier to read. Label the side lengths of Jillian's array from part A on the rectangle below. So this was a 7 by 4, right? So we'll call this 7 and 4. Like that. Then write a multiplication sentence to represent the area of the rectangle. So that's we'll just it's the same thing again. So 7 times 4 equals 28. So in the first one you didn't have to write a multiplication sentence. I did. But if you already wrote it up here, write it again here. Nothing wrong with writing down. I mean it's pretty easy to write. Uh, Fiona draws a 24 square centimeter rectangle. Gregory draws a 24 square inch rectangle. Whose rectangle is larger in area and how do you know? Well, a square centimeter is going to be, uh, centimeters are smaller than inches. Uh, so square centimeters have to be smaller than square inches. Or you could think, you know, inches have to be longer than centimeters, so square inches have more area than square centimeters. So uh, Gregory's, since the number of units is the same, uh, Gregory's has to be larger because inches are larger than centimeters. Since the number of square units is equal and inches are longer Gregory's rectangle. Mm. Let me fix that. Has more area. <laughs> 